This is Twit. Okay, so my um, the, my favorite home kit device is, device is my Schlage lock on my front door. Front door lock. Yeah. And so, well, that has to be secure. Um, I I'm locking the door the door right now. Um, at home. That's really cool because you noticed you left it unlocked. <laughs> I did. Uh, and now it's locked, and I'm sure my kids who are home are just like, "What? Well, well, the door just locked." Out of curiosity, does it make a big chunk? It does. Yeah, <laughs> and the dog probably barks. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. I would turn it on and off yeah, all the time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but not only that, it's that my kids don't need keys because there's a keypad on the front and we have a special or code. Or they could call mom and say open Unlo the door. <laughs> they, yeah. yeah, if they forget the code. Yeah. Uh, other people, we can let them in if we want to let someone in only one time. We can give them a one-time. A one-time code. Yes, That's pretty one-time cool. code. We yeah. can, you know, if there was someone who was our friend and they had our code, a special code, and then they weren't our friend anymore, we could change their code. <laughs> Does a Schlage lock support Bluetooth? In other words, does it notice that you're coming up the thing and open the door? Because um, that worries me a little bit. You can set an automation to do. But so you don't like have to. No, have you don't that. have yeah, to. I would no. turn that off. No. Um, and even then, even if you set an automation to unlock your door, it will give you your Apple Watch or your iPhone will say, are you sure you want to unlock the door? Ah, good. And then That's so, good. you know, okay. if I'm being held at gunpoint and someone... Um, is you know I you just don't want somebody to hack Bluetooth and be able to walk into your house. Now, of course, we must observe that locks are only a suggestion. Right. Anybody who really wants to get in can break a window, mm -hmm. can smash the lock. Can I kick think the door it's more in. more of a request. Please don't come yeah. in yeah. to my house. Yeah. Not <laughs> yeah. So it, a lock in and of itself isn't isn't full security right. anyway. So uh, I'm not too worried about that. If somebody really wants to get in, they're not going to mm -hmm. try to hack your snarf your Bluetooth. That's the hardest way to do it. Exactly. Um, okay, so here's the Twit room that I've created in um, my home um, home kit app. Is that where you start for all of this? Is you use the home? Yes, app? the home kit app. It comes installed on all of your devices, and you know it's just the home. Um, this little guy right there it looks like a little home. Um, and I've created a room for all of these devices. If you see the wide shot, you can see all these devices that um, I have here that I have created that I can um, control through my iPad. So Princess Leia, for example, Padre made me oh, this bobblehead little, Leia. <laughs> little stand and I can turn her off by doing that. And then she turned off. Lay off, and, she says. Um, so I can say, hey Siri, turn on Princess Leia. Now, by the way, we should point out something happened there that you might have thought, what, what happened? Both the HomePod and your iPad, and probably your phone and watch, heard mm -hmm. that. <laughs> and it, it looks like the, the the right thing happened, which is one of the devices said, I'll get it, and yeah. everybody else said, okay, fine. Exactly. Oh, so let me move this, and I'll show you what Princess Leia is connected to here. Oh, she got knocked over. <laughs> Princess Leia is connected to... That's a Wemo plug there. The, no, this is a Wemo, but that's connected to something else. Oh. This is the Eve. Eve. Eve um, from by Elgato. Elgato. They have a whole line of tiny um, plugs and sensors, and I, I'm going to show you the Eve motion sensor. In Apple a bit. timers will recognize the name Elgato. They had a camera and television uh, receiving business, which actually they've sold off. So they've focused their entire attention now on home automation. But they're I really like Elgato. They were always a good hardware company and they were very mac centric yeah. apple centric and so they're, yeah they, they don't have any they only work yeah with HomeKit so they're a home else. kit company that might be a good indicator one of the questions i have does the apple home app auto discover all this stuff in other words can you say search my network for devices that i can control or do you have to go in and say i have an eve plug i want to control that you do, and then you also have to like shoot your camera at the little home oh, kit okay. sticker thing, you know, that okay. has the number on it. And, That's a you know, QR, the code code, on QR code. QR yeah. code, yeah. and no, it. Uh, I'm. I bet, like in a couple years, it'll be able to do that because my Echo Plus, which is a hub, all I have to say is find my smart devices, yeah. and it finds them. Yeah. So that's a <laughs> to me, that's a huge advantage. You could just say, find everything, and now let's figure out what we can do right. with it. Yeah, exactly. I'm I'm betting that at some point it will do that, but this, you really, yeah, you have to um, shoot it at the, the number. and That's some probably of, considered a security, another security. Yes, yeah, and and some, the lights usually don't, um, they don't, they don't almost have the numbers on there. They come with these tiny little booklets, 
And then oh, you get, lose if you, the booklet. You're yeah. at it a lot. Or confuse one light bulb's booklet with another oh, light bulb's booklet. Yeah. So I'll give you a tip for that that uh, a viewer gave to me, which is you keep Store all them. of those in a yeah in a secure note That's on a very your good idea. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, on your iPhone so that I have all of those and you know I can find them because I mean I guess some I don't know what someone could do with that number um, and that barcode, but I mean well they could uh, they could sit outside your house. And, and spook you by turning the lights on and off. Yeah. Um. <laughs> really, again, the, could, I'm not so worried about security and control, I'm, which I guess for a lock is important, but for lights, no. I'm much more worried about the fact that if these devices aren't up, you know, kept secure, somebody could use them to get into your network mm -hmm. and, do, and really do some damage. So, uh, but uh, that's, a good, that's a good thing that Apple is now, uh, uh, you know, being... You're saying you have to have firmware updates and things like that. Setting standards for these devices, yeah. that's good. And if you do use all Eve products, all Elgato products, they have their own little app, which is a little bit prettier than, um, or, you know, than the uh, home app. They have different options down here, different scenes and types. Um, but I could also unlock and lock my front door, even though that's not an Eve product. Um, the Schlag is not an Elgato product, but I can use that. But I, I like to use HomeKit. Okay. So th this is the other thing that's causing a lot of confusion is that there are, m you know, multiple hubs mm -hmm. and you still have to have a hub and the hub can do it and HomeKit can do it. And it's confusing. I, you, of course, you want to use HomeKit because you want to have the ability to go cross right. hub and mm -hmm. automate. Yeah. But then I can also like turn down the lights, turn, you know, if they, if. Turn oh, different neat. colors and such like that. I like that slider. Okay, but is thing, that the Eve app or that's the HomeKit app? This is the HomeKit app. Okay. Um, so, but one thing about HomeKit is that it's not necessarily um, as self-explanatory as other parts of Apple. Like, if you wanted to get back to HomeKit on this screen, show this screen for yeah, a second. Yeah, how would you get back? What would you do? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, you, you press that. Powered on, okay. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, it's just like there's, it's you not. You learn that, you know. I guess. Yeah, yeah, you hard, pro you learn it, but it's not with so many Apple products. It's just like there's a back button. There, why isn't you know? Why doesn't it say yeah. go back? You know, yeah. I don't, I don't know what to do. But yeah, that's how you do that. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. So uh, now um, I'll show you. You see this light? Can you see that light bulb? There's that a just, light bulb on a lamp, looks, a this, tall lamp. This okay. is not a smart light bulb. It's a smart lamp. It's a it's a regular lamp. A regular it's lamp dumb. and light bulb. It's the stupidest lamp. Stupid. How are you going to control school, a stupid it lamp? It got made fun of. <laughs> what are you going to do? Um, that one is plugged into the Wemo plug, which ah, we talked about before. The Wemo. The plug this is can... a Wemo mini plug. Okay. And just recently, so for, there's two steps to this. First, Wemo got HomeKit. Um, you know, for backward compatibility. So if you had a Wemo, but you needed to get a hub last year, they got that. Now, starting last month or July, you didn't even need a hub. You can just use this plug, which nice. that means you can put any of your non HomeKit devices into that plug. I can say that one is called, what did I call that one? Torch. <laughs> Again, the other side <laughs> of this problem. Yes. What did I call that lamp? <laughs> hey Siri. Meanwhile, your wife or husband goes over and just switches it on. Hey Siri, turn on my torch. I can't do that in HomeKit because I'm not sure what your wife and husband goes means. <laughs> okay, if I were Marco, I would take advantage of that by talking every time you do this. Okay, I'm <laughs> he sorry. does do that. He Zip. does do that. Yep. Hey Siri, turn on my torch, please. Got it. Oh, that was fast. Now here's the other problem I have. <laughs> And I have this with my Hue lights. If there's a switch, an on-off switch, which there is on that lamp, mm -hmm. inevitably somebody's not going to understand that, oh, no, 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 never turn the lamp off. We always use our voice to do that mm -hmm. and switch the lamp off. And then you have to go over like, an, like a savage mm -hmm. and turn the light on and then say, turn on torch, which I is know. really annoying. Yeah. I, mean I, do I have to do that every almost every day. Somebody goes in my office and turns off my lights.